Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to optimize your images on your website and make your website faster. We'll try two of the best plugins for optimizing images on the market and then we'll do the same job manually by our hands and then we'll compare the our website speed so let's do it so here is our pictures we've got seven of them and here is the their weight it's around one megabyte to two megabytes and here is the dimension it's 1500 to 1000 pixels every single picture same size let's paste these pictures in our website and let's check the page speed so let's go to our pages and let's create a new one let's call it image opt let's paste some text here something like this and let's add some media go to media library and add my new pictures so we're gonna select files, select them all, and we're gonna add them to our media library. Once you've done that, I'm gonna go to pages back, image opt our test page, and add some media. We're gonna take the alignment in center link to none and size large it's 1024 pixels to 683 pixels insert into page let's add another one flowers just for saving your time i think i'll cut that out and i'll meet you after i'll paste every image okay i've got all my seven pictures on my page click on update page view the page and here we are we've got here snow flowers apples berries tomatoes gooses and fall in forest let's check the page speed insights for this exact page let's go to page speed insights google google's tool for analyzing your website speed and click on analyze and what we've got here everything is awful we've got slow website speed because of images they are too big okay it's obviously that we have to optimize them because it's the first issue that we've got my images on mobile devices and on desktop the same stuff optimize images first of all so let's go back to our dashboard and let's add some plugins for optimizing our images all right so let's go to plugins add new and we're searching for the best plugins on the market it's called smush and e -W 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 image optimizer okay so first our plugin called smush install now and the next plugin is called e -W 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 image optimizer also install now we'll check them both since they're the best on the market so far we have activate button here and activate button here so from which one shall we start okay i think it'll be smush because it's the best right so we'll check this out activate um here we have know that we have nine attachments that need smushing so click on box smush now i'll cut that part off just to save in your time okay after we're done with smushing we have 48 images that smushed and it was nine images and here is 
48 images. That's cause WordPress cuts the images for thumbnails. That's why we have more images than were actually downloaded to our image library. So here it says total savings about 23% and it's about one megabyte or 10 hundred kilobytes savings. So um, everything is done, right? Let's click on recheck images to make sure that we're all set. Yay! All images are optimized and everything's cool as this plugin said. Okay, let's check this out. We have to refresh our page and let's check it again. I'm not gonna close this tab just to look what it was. It was 56 on mobile devices and 60 on desktop, which is both very bad. Let's check this page again. Okay, it's become better, but not so good as you probably expected. So it was 56 on mobile, now it's 63 on mobile. So it's like four, three, it's like seven points plus. And here was 60 and after smush it becomes 71. Which is pretty good, it's like 11 points. But it still needs work on desktop and it's poor on mobile devices. So let's check another plugin. Go to plugins, deactivate smush and activate EWWW image optimizer. Go to settings, everything is installed, everything is cool right here and we have to click on this little little link bulk optimize tool. Click on that and then we have to click on scan for unoptimized images. We've got a bunch of them. Okay, shall we start? Click on start optimizing. I will think I'll cut this part out later. Okay, looks like we're all set. Optimized 160 out of 160. Here's the percentage of reducing their image size. They have a lot of them. Okay, let's check out our page. Click on refresh and go back to our page speed and size. So let's analyze it. So just to remind you, we have 56 on mobile and 60 on desktop without plugins. We have 63 on mobile and 71 on desktop for Smush. And we have 63 and 71 for EWWW Image Optimizer. That's pretty much the same. Actually, it's perfectly the same with Smush results. Poor on mobile and needs work on desktop. So my conclusion is that these plugins are almost the same and they are not good enough, obviously. So let's try to reduce the image size by our hands manual. Let's go to our favorite tool for reducing image sizes, be funky. Just to remind you, it's free. Click on photo editor, click on upload computer in my case. It will be test one, JPEG, open. I'm not gonna crop the image or size that image. I'm gonna click save right after I upload this image. Computer and everything I want to choose is the quality of image. It'll be JPEG for 100% sure. 
and the quality I'll set out to 80%. Look, it almost changed like twice. I think it's pretty good. I'll save that image and I'll name it, uh, I think it will be R80%. Okay, save. Upload the next one. I think I'll cut that part out later, just to save me time. Okay, so after we finish with the funky tool, we have these seven images and they're manually reduced. So as you can see, there is no difference at all. I mean, I cannot see any difference. If you see, tell me please in the comments below. So let's go back to our website, plugins, deactivate our EWWW image optimizer. Then let's go to our page and edit this. Make sure we'll delete all this old unoptimized images and then click on update button. Then we'll go to our media library and we'll get rid of these images right here just to make sure we don't have duplicates. Okay, we're all set. So let's add new pictures, manually optimized pictures. Select pictures, we want this test R80. 80 is our quality out of the funky tool. We can actually reduce it even more and make our pictures even lighter. So let's check what 80% of original image will look like and we'll test the page speed because this is all about. Go back to our page, image optimizer and let's add our new media. I think I'm gonna cut this part out later just for saving your time. So see you a bit later. Okay we've got the last picture with gooses. Click on update file, I mean update page and go check our page. View page, click on Control F5 just to make sure we're actually refresh this page. We got snow, flowers again, apples, berries, tomatoes, forest, and gooses. Okay, the pictures is the same size as they were. So let's check our page speed. Image opt. And just for reminding you again, we had this result on without plugins on unoptimized pictures. We've got this result for and needs work on smush and we've got exactly the same result on EWWW image optimizer. And finally after the funky tool and after manually reducing our image size we've got this. Still needs work on mobile devices but it's way too good than it was and we've got good on desktop it says great job you've got these nice pictures here they're big they're nice and you know what they're optimized so as you can see manual reducing your image sizes it's always the best option next to reducing image sizes with plugins like Smush or WWW Image Optimizer. They have the same result and this result isn't good. And by manually we've got lots of lots of more benefits from Google because we did a pretty good job, you know. So what it means? It means that if you're reducing your image sizes by your hands, you'll probably be faster in Google SERP results rather than you'll use plugins. 
because Google loves fast websites and there is a reason nobody wants to wait and Google either so hope you have a good time with me today see you next week and if you like this video then subscribe or at least click on thumbs up hope you well see you next time bye bye guys bye bye